guys so uh, moment of truth this is the final look I like how I have contoured very slightly I like how the focus is on the lip and there is some creasing that I can still see on my eyes Let's move on to some better light so if you guys want to know how to achieve this absolutely matte look daytime look with a very very bold red lip then continue watching I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this Okay, so first up, I start with some lip balm to moisturize my lips. I then go in with my professional primer by Benefit. It's really dirty, which is why that expression. But I basically go in with the primer and it helps the makeup sit well on your skin all day long. It is like a base, which is important. And professional specifically works like wonders on your pores. It helps reduce the pore size, which is why I'm going in with a little extra amount for my nose, as you can see here. Next up, I go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. This is actually the color corrector in green. So the green color corrector is used to hide any red spots. And since my skin is extremely sensitive, I have a lot of red spots on my face, which happen because of pollution or any type of allergies or sometimes I break out due to acne and uh, that is of course because of the excessive traveling and weather change. So I basically go in with my green color corrector on all the spots wherein there's some redness on my face. I then take my Real Techniques buffing brush. This is my all-time favorite brush. I use it for practically everything and I then just blend this green concealer onto my skin so that it doesn't look too harsh and when I apply concealer on top, it sort of settles down well. I then go in with my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. This is my absolute favorite concealer. I think it's consistency, texture and the way it blends into your skin is amazing. So I go in with this concealer on my under eye primarily because that's where you need most concealing i don't have a dark circle issue which is why i don't go in with a red color corrector which is used to you know sort of help the dark circles uh, go away completely and then going in with the same concealer on top of all the spots where i had the green color corrector so that of course my skin doesn't look green it needs to look uh, the shade that it actually is which is why i'm going in with the concealer I then go in with my L'Oreal Matte Magique Foundation. I think this is an amazing one. And I mix it up with Lacme Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This Lacme Foundation is actually my mixer, which I like to call it. Uh, I use this to sort of edit the shade of the main foundation that I'm using because this is a nice mixing foundation and it's very, very cheap and inexpensive, which is why I can use it in abundance. So I take a bit of the matte magic and I mix it up with the liquid perfecting foundation in Lacme, which is the shade natural pearl for me. I don't know the shade of the matte magic, but one thing that I have to say about the matte magic foundation is that it is one of the best matte foundations I've tried. I haven't tried many, but I've tried a couple and this one is so good. It sits well on your skin. It doesn't make it too dry when it sits matte. And uh, of course, you have to sort of quickly blend it into the skin before it dries up because whenever it dries matte, it is hard to then blend it. So I'm taking my Real Techniques buffing brush once again. And the technique is to just blend it all in. And you can see that I didn't use a lot of foundation. I'm a fan of minimal makeup and natural looking makeup, which is I blend like a maniac. So I guess that is it. I then will go in with the same foundation on my neck because your face and neck need to match if you need it to look natural and not fake. The makeup leads to look like it's your second skin. I will now go on to one of the most important steps of makeup, which is my eyebrows. Now, my eyebrows look very, very light in this video for some strange reason. They're not so light. I actually think they're very well shaped, but I, of course, need to fill them up, which I do with the Maybelline Fashion Brow Duo Shaper. This is an okay pencil, honestly, I didn't like it quite as much. The pencil part, you really need to work it. As you can see, I'm creating an outline first for my eyebrows and then slowly filling it in. The trick to do makeup well is to actually take it very, very slow and add the layers as you go because if you add too much, you know, instantly, then it's just gonna look very, very unnatural. So I'm outlining my second brow now with the same pencil. 
and as you can see i'm taking some efforts to do it so now i go with the other side of the pencil which is sort of the filling brush and i sort of fill my brows in with it but i don't think i was too happy with the results so i just went in with a dark brow i brown eyeshadow sorry and i filled my brows up with that as well so once I was happy with my brows, as you can see here, I then decided to go in with eyeshadow. So my favorite palette right now is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. And I'm first trying to highlight the under eyebrow area, which is my brow bone, basically, with the shade Divinity and Satin Sheets. I then go in with my Kylie Cosmetics fluffy brush to sort of create the crease. I go in with the shade Bordeaux. I hope that's how it's pronounced. It's an amazing shade for the crease. It's the perfect combination of like a reddish sort of brown, which looks very, very natural, of course, if you blend it in. And I prefer using a fluffy brush for it so that I don't have to go in and blend it separately. So I'm taking a little more of the border and I'm, of course, um, sort of blowing into the brush before I apply it so that there's no fallout as I've already done my base and I don't want any fallout on my skin. And I am happy with the crease. I then go in with the shade Sprinkles and Molasses Chip with my fingers so that it's more intense. And I apply that on the middle area of my eye. It's a beautiful goldenish pink shade. So it helps my eye stay natural yet pop. I then use my another of my Kylie Cosmetics brush, which is this slightly angular brush to line my lower lash line with the shade Malted and dark truffle together and I then go in with a little more malted to intensify the corners of my eye and create a very slight shadow this is a very natural eyeshadow look because I am going to go in with dark bold lips and I wanted my eyes to look very very natural very smooth blended nothing harsh i then take this angular brush and i combine three shades which is satin sheets cotton candy and sprinkles to highlight the water line no not the water line this is the tip of my inner corner of my eye yes i'm learning guys i'm learning all right next up is eyeliner i go in with the l'oreal super liner i will tell you the shade once i get hold of it but I basically start lining my eye with it. It's a very nice liner. Although I don't like the brushes. I like very thin light brushes uh, when I use eyeliners. Because it gives me more control. But let me just... Sorry, I'm sorry about this. I'm just trying to find out the shade. Okay, so the shade is black gold. And I then use another Lacme filler product. Which is the Lacme Insta Liner. Which is a very thin, nice brush. Which I love. And I use this to define my line a little better and create a better shape. Once I'm happy with that, I will then go in with the Volume Express Falsies. Oops, no, what is it called? <laughs> it's the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline Mascara, which I use to just open up my lashes a little bit. I'm going to go in with another product on my lashes, which is the L'Oreal The Volume Million Lashes. This is an excellent mascara. I love this one. It's very, very light, yet it curls your lashes. It's not very volume, volumizing or voluminizing, whatever that word is. But it's nice to give your eyelashes a slight curl. I did not have my eyelash curler because this was somewhere outside of Bombay and Delhi. This was Raipur actually where I'm shooting this. But I didn't have my eyelash curler, so I have to make do. I'm then going in with my NYX Wonder Stick, Wonder Stick Duo, which is a great highlight and contour companion especially if you're traveling and you don't want to carry multiple products so i'm just going to quickly contour my nose slightly with it i did very light contouring because this entire makeup look was all about looking natural and fresh and having a bold lip and i also wanted my look to be completely matte which is why i will also not go in with any highlighter i'm then going in with this bronzing powder which i have which i had bought from h&m in amsterdam and i go in with my real techniques highlight brush or whatever brush this is this is an amazing brush for contouring and highlighting so i just take that powder on its lid and i go in with that powder to set the cream contour that i applied on my nose as you can see i'm doing it very very slightly now contouring my forehead slightly it's hardly even visible it's that light and of course i don't have professional lighting which is why you can't see it 
contouring my cheekbones now a bit I don't like to go in with too much contouring during the daytime because I, I just think it looks too harsh especially on my face I then go in with my makeup Revo revolution ultra blush palette it th it, I think it's the best blush palette that there is it's so good and has such great shades of pink and peach I think I'm going in with three shades yeah I'm mixing up three shades together to get this nice pinkish touch on my face and I also love to go in with blush all across my face because I think my face looks very pale after base so I like to go in with blush all across so that my face can look nice flushed pinky and yeah once I'm happy with that I will go in with my final step which is my Diana of London lipstick in red I absolutely love this lipstick brand i don't know how many of you have heard of this this is a uk brand but it's absolutely wonderful and this shade in red is so gorgeous it just changes my entire look completely every time i apply it which is why i went in with such such light and natural looking makeup because i just wanted the lips to pop because i'm wearing a yellow jumpsuit and yellow and red is a bright enough combination i didn't want my eyes and my cheeks and my contour to take away the glory i just wanted the colors to pop in this look which was slightly retroish and yeah i think i'm done with my lips and i'm so happy you can see me posing and pouting i then take off my clutcher and i'm just gonna get my game on with the camera taking it up can you see how happy i am with this look it's completely mad there's no extra glow because it's very humid and I just wanted my face to be very very matte so yeah that brings me to an end of my very first makeup tutorial I'm so happy to be sharing this with you all I hope you guys enjoyed show some love to this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much have a great day ahead you all bye bye